Welcome back to Overland Florida, everybody. I'm Kevin. In today's video, I'm going to be opening another rooftop tent. This is the second tent this company has sent me. They're Amazon sellers called Bamacar. The brand is Nature Nest, and I've been very pleased with the last Nature Nest tent that they sent me, especially for the money. And I'm even more excited for this one. As you guys know, in a lot of my old, uh, my older overlanding videos, um, I'm a huge fan of eye camper tents. Very good quality. Um, this one particularly that they sent me is a clone of the eye camper 3.0 mini. And uh, we're going to open this up. We're going to check the quality. If this tent is any good for about $1,000, that is going to be a game changer for everybody that is interested in rooftop tents or just overlanding in general. Um, I want to say the eye camper that I had on the back of my Maverick was, uh, I think, like with shipping brand new and everything with the options, it was like 4300 bucks around there. Um, this is going to be an identical clone to that, and it's roughly $1,000 on Amazon plus shipping. I do have to say, out of all the rooftop tents I've owned, which is roughly seven, Nature Nest is the only company that's ever sent them in a crate like this. All the other brands have always come in cardboard boxes. So I just want to show you guys this as a first reaction. I wasn't expecting this. I was expecting a nice black smooth uh, tent. But let me get in here. I thought when I first opened it up, it was like carbon fiber, like fake carbon fiber or something. But it's uh, it's got texture to it, which I don't know how I feel about that. I'm gonna go ahead and open this thing all the way up out of the bag and then I'll, I'll bring you guys back. Here it is outside of the box. I'm very happy with the shape and the design of the tent, but I'm not sure about this texture. I can tell you right now, the first thing that came to my mind is that's probably gonna be hard to clean. If you get mud stains on that, it's probably gonna be hard to wash. Although it is the same like ABS plastic material, so it probably will wash off with a sponge. <clears throat> but if it was maybe a different kind of material, it'd be harder to uh, get mud stuff out of these little holes, little divots. It's basically just like, a golf ball if i if i could explain it that way if it's like a if you held a golf ball i felt a golf ball that's just divots all over this and i don't really know why other than maybe it just kind of looks cool going down the road but as far as uh someone using this off-road in mud i'm gonna say that it might uh, be hard to clean after leaving the tent in the sun for a little while you can see right here if you look straight down where the buckles are the plastic's kind of bowing out and it's I'm sure this is pretty strong. It's probably almost as thick as the eye camper, but it seems that it's kind of flimsy at the same time. So it is kind of already bowing out right here. And that's the only problem I see with the outside. Everywhere else around, you got these little holes right here, there's rivets. And over here, there's three hinges on this side. And the plastic uh, shell seems to be pretty firm over here. So really the only issue I see is just the quality of the plastic on this front section right here. So I got the keys right here. We'll go ahead and open this thing up. Maybe that'll relieve some of this pressure on the plastic. All right, we have a buckle on each end, which this is kind of like if you grew up rollerblading or had skates. It's kind of like the same thing, I think. You just pull it out. You push the red thing in and just pull it out from the bottom. All right, now's the moment of truth. We're gonna go ahead and open this thing up for the first time. All right, so we have the stairs. They're attached. They're in a, their own little protective bag. We'll go ahead and just take that off real quick. We've got bubble wrap underneath that. You can see right here, huge, 
huge skylights on this thing. And if you notice underneath the tent, there's an LED, uh, LED strip underneath the tent itself. So I'll go ahead and flip this out. Normally this is on top of a truck bed or a trailer or something high off the ground. But we're just gonna open this up right here. So the bottom is gonna flip out. Then the ladder would go straight down. Now that we have the tent set up flat on the ground, we can go through the inside, see what the accessories are that it comes with. Right here we have the instruction manual. You can see extra black caps and those go on the outer shell and those just cover up the rivet holes. So if those pop out or anything, they give you some extra ones. Right here, this kind of feels like the mounting hardware. Comes in a nice little zipper bag. So you can use that for other accessories whenever you're done mounting it. We got power cables with on and off switches. So underneath the tent, when this is set up, there's an LED strip that lights up the ground. And inside the tent, there's actually uh, two more LED strips. So you can mount those. They're Velcro. You can mount those in the tent anywhere you want. So there's another one. And this right here, these are all the cable, the cables, USB. So if you have a battery bank, a power charger, or anything like that, you can run these LED lights off your power bank. And right here you have your traditional mounting hardware. It comes with all the wrenches and everything so you don't have to bust out your own tools. So in this bag right here, we're gonna have the stakes and these hold up the uh, awnings on all four sides over the windows and the entryway. So we got those. Let's see what else we got here. And we're gonna have some extra shoe bags. So if you're going in the tent and it's raining or whatnot, um, you can climb up the ladder, sit on the edge of the tent, take your shoes off, put them in these bags. You're not gonna get the inside of the tent dirty or anything. You got two of those. And of course you got your little bag that the hardware came in that you can reuse for something else. So we noticed that it came with a few extra stakes. I'm not sure um, if there's extra awning rooms that you can get as an option and it requires some of these stakes or not. But we did notice that some of them are just a little hair bigger than the others and they do not fit in any of the other windows. So uh, we're not sure if they're just extra ones that came with the kit or if they go to something else, but we will figure that out in the future. So sitting at the entryway to this tent, this awning, this rain fly is really large. It's really nice actually. And unlike the iCamper, I really like these little windows on the sides. Um, it gives you a really good view. Um, especially if it's raining and you just want to sleep or lay down at the edge of your tent and just look out You can actually look left and right as opposed to just straight out which is the only view I'd have with um, with the eye camper um, Really big screen window right here Or screen door to get through um, Really good quality. I'm actually really surprised about this tent to be honest with you um, Outside right here tent material really good. I would say It's as close to a clone of an eye camper as you're gonna get and the inside even has blackout material. So if you were to sleep in, or maybe you want to take a nap during the day, it's just a beautiful winter day and it's cool outside, you can actually close up all these doors, all the windows, the skylight, and it'll black out all the light so you can have a really good sleep, um, even in the middle of the day, or like I said, sleep in in the morning. So for people like me that work at night shift, that's the one thing I loved about the iCamper and uh, any tent for that matter that, uh, that has blackout material in it. I could sleep in until 10 30 11 o'clock in the afternoon wake up well rested sitting inside the tent definitely enough headroom to sit straight up big enough wide enough for two adults to sleep side by side um i already have a little breeze going in here through both windows and the big entry door open um, with this being a clamshell you're not going to get a window or anything in the back since that's just that hard plastic cover um, there is a material on this back wall and that is basically just going to take out some of the sound as well as if you brush up against it in the middle of the night, you're not going to feel some cold plastic or some uh, condensation or anything on there. It's going to be nice and comfortable in that respect. Um, let's do a little matches test real quick. Pretty thin, just like any rooftop tent. But then again, even if you spend $8,000 on a rooftop tent, I've never 
come across a rooftop tent where people were just like the factory mattress was just so comfortable so it's kind of just one of those things just assume that you're going to get a mattress topper or a whole nother mattress on any rooftop tent you buy but this one is actually a little thicker than um it's definitely thicker than the last tent i reviewed i'll tell you that much let's see we got a little condensation mat right here we got a little piece of foam uh really what that's for is just like anti-rattle if you have stuff on here it's just it's not going to be rattling or hitting the metal or anything aluminum and then you have a hard bottom so a condensation mat little mattress um a lot of pockets there's pockets for like cell phones pockets to help hold things um if you want to come inside a little bit i'll show you the uh, skylight so right here we'll go ahead and open up the skylight it's letting that hot florida sun in right now it's kind of cooking But there you go if you want to stargaze at nighttime you can open this up if it's raining in the middle of the day and you just want to watch the rain hit the ceiling it's really relaxing so in addition to the three lights that we already pulled out of the tent there's already one light installed right here just with velcro you can move these lights around anywhere you want you can use them in your vehicle you can have them outside and on a picnic table do whatever you want they send you plenty of them there's also little hooks right here uh, if you want to hold a little lantern or um Anything you want to hang inside the tent, if you want to get caught in a rainstorm and you want to dry off some of your clothes or something like that, hang a jacket up, I don't know. But um, yeah, I think for the price, which I believe the price is $1,099 plus, don't quote me on this, maybe $200 in shipping. And for that price, for this quality of a tent, and like I said, I've owned a few eye campers. That's hands down probably my favorite tent. Um, this is a, basically a direct clone of an eye camper. And for $1,099, I would buy this tent with my own money all day long. The price of the iCamper, camper, I think, was like $4,300 with all the options. You can literally buy almost four of these tents for one price of the um, for the iCamper, camper, which is really, really crazy to think about. You know, people spend so much money on uh, on rooftop tents, so definitely a cost-saving factor there, and. Uh, yeah, you got all the rivets right here. Let's go through the plastic, and that's what those little caps are for. Really, my first initial impression is I'm very impressed with the quality of this tent. Um, like I said, the mattress, doable, but that's something you can always just order a new one, or you can bring in a comforter from your own house. You don't have to buy anything else. I don't see anywhere where there's stitching, any light coming in from any kind of stitching. Anywhere where there's like excessive pulling on the material for wear and tear. Um, that's probably going to be it for the inside. Let's go back out to the outside and then uh, we'll wrap this up. We'll get it mounted on one of the vehicles soon. So now we're going to go around the outside one more time. We're going to try to be nitpicky. Uh, just find things that we think aren't going to last or just things that might wear and tear quickly compared to more expensive quality tents. Um, I don't know there's a zipper right here all along the front so i believe you can get an annex to go over the whole front so you have a whole nother room towards the front of your tent you can easily get dressed store thing store things in there uh, keep a dog or maybe another bed for a, a child or something but you can get an uh an annex to expand this tent even bigger the quality of the ladder is actually it's actually pretty nice like i I feel weird not being able to find a whole lot of things wrong with the tent, a cheap tent for that matter, but it's just like any other ladder you would expect. It's not quick release. It's not quick release, but with this style tent, you really don't need a quick release ladder. It's going to be protected and covered up by that plastic shell of the uh, clamshell. One of my concerns for the outside is this plastic, especially the sunroof. Um, with my experience with eye camper tents, they had the plastic, um, uh, skylights right there sunroofs whatever you want to call it and over time they would turn yellow and once they turned yellow they kind of like dry out and get a little brittle and then uh, from there you get holes and you have to patch the holes so um, this being a brand new tent only time will tell whether the same thing is going to happen with this material but um, obviously on the, the sides over here not a whole 
not a whole lot that's going to go wrong. It's not really going to affect anything if this did get brittle. But the skylight is another story. Uh, once your skylight starts to go, if it gets if it gets brittle and cracks, you can patch it with like a 3M clear plastic. It's basically just like this, but like a patch, like a two patch. Um, but once you once you get past that point, you're talking about a whole material replacement. So um, all this material, this whole tent, just unzips from the metal frame and then you can order a new fabric and you can zip it on so you'll have a brand new tent on your old frame. As far as all the windows and everything, I really don't see any issues with the uh, the awnings that go over the windows. They seem they seem pretty fine. The stitching is okay. There's not really a, a whole lot of uh, force or anything tugging on this material to make it want to rip or anything like that. But getting back to this plastic cover, as you can see right here, this edge is straight. The back side is straight, but if you want to walk over there, you can kind of easily see where this plastic, I don't know that's from the sun, I don't know if it's because there's two buckles right here, but it does get pretty flimsy right there, and like, it seems pretty rigid on the uh, on the top part, but right here, I mean, that's that could be one point where it could crack in the future. You just gotta be careful when you open or close this thing, not to grab right there and pull it or push it. Um, it does have gas struts on the inside, so it is going to have some power, lifting power to force itself up. And when you go to close the tent, they have a strap right here. You pull the strap and it pulls the lid closed. So don't grab on this. You don't want this to get weakened over time from uh, opening and closing it. So on this side of the tent, which would initially be the front side, um, you have one little buckle right here. You have the plastic caps to all the rivets that go to the hardware for the hinges to open it up. And then of course you have your nature nest uh, badging right here. Um, that's a complete walk around the tent. Um, initial unboxing. Obviously we're going to put this either on one of the vehicles or a boat or something and get a little more time in it. But my initial reaction for the price of this tent, I'd buy this thing all day long. Um, like I said, I think it's $1,099 plus $200 in shipping. So for like $1,300, I would buy this all day long. I'd let my friends buy this. I'd, I'd recommend it to a lot of people, especially if someone was to look at the iCamper or another expensive tent. Um, this is basically a clone of that tent, and I would save my money and use this in a heartbeat.